Hey, what is up, Colts Nation? It's Josh Hudgens with the Common Colt Podcast, and we have a huge episode today. As you've probably heard, Anthony Richardson is benched per Adam Schefter. We talked about it, the possibility of this on our show on Sunday, right after the Texans game. And I tell you what, I got a lot of heat from some Colts fans saying that that was very premature. Uh, but I think people started to open up to the idea, especially after Pat McAfee took it from a player's angle on what it means to players when your quarterback taps out. I know the Colts are saying that that didn't lead into the decision-making, but I think this is a locker room decision. It really is made by a Shane Steichen, Chris Ballard, and Jim Mercer. When your quarterback is not performing at a high level, and when he's not performing at a good level at all, he's actually bad, the worst quarterback in recent memory, and then he taps out of a game, you're still just trying to make sure you're keeping that locker room in order. You're trying to establish that winning culture. Because if I'm Shane Steichen and I'm sitting in my office and if Quentin Nelson and if DeForest Buckner comes in and they say, hey, this is what Richardson has done the last few weeks. This is what we were with Flacco. Are we here to win or are we not? And you could play the, we're, we're, well, we're trying to develop him. We're trying to develop him narrative for a while. But if, if the development's not there and he's regressing or staying the same and then he's tapping out of games, that does not sell well to a locker room. And I think that's the that's the message that a lot of Colts content creators are missing right now. They're missing the fact that these are real people and they don't care about a draft pick because they are fighting for another contract. If you're a coach, you're fighting for your livelihood. If you're a player, you're fighting for maybe your next team even. It's more than just, are we picking 22nd or are we picking eighth overall? And it, it boggles my mind that a lot of content creators don't get that through their head, that this is a bigger move than just, hey, we're, we need to get a good draft pick now. It, it's not that. It, it's deeper than that. And I know the Colts have gone out and they've said, we're not, the, the Richardson era is not quite over yet in Indianapolis. We're not waving the white flag on him for his career in Indy. We want to see how he how he kind of takes this and, and hopefully he could take a step back, focus on developing and move forward, which leads me to my question on this video. And I'm, and I'm hoping to get some engagement here in the comments. Do you think that Richardson could possibly be traded this off season? Uh, to me, look, I'm a straight shooter. I say authentic takes no clickbait. I want to be real on the show. And I think it's a real possibility. I'm just going to go out there and say it. I don't think you can bench your rookie quarterback after 10 games and not have that on the op, uh, on the table, especially if let's say Joe Flacco comes in, plays well or plays okay, and they miss the playoffs. I think at that point, your quarterback was a bust, probably. Your team then missed the playoffs again. I'm guessing Ursay had probably at that point seen enough to fire Chris Ballard. At that point, then you have to bring in a whole new general manager, a new regime, who I think would probably keep Shane Steichen, by the way. A lot of ifs and thanks, but this is just based on what I'm gathering here, based on the performance I see on the team. And at that point, you have an underperforming quarterback who got benched for a new GM. He just might want his new or his own franchise quarterback to develop that he takes. He might just want his guy. And at that point, the Colts would just be looking for assets to either one, just to kind of build the team up, or to two, trade Richardson for, and then to use those picks and to trade up for another quarterback. Um, the, the truth is this roster with a solid quarterback play is probably a five or six win roster right now. We're not on the 500 team. I think that the Colts are in such a huge crossroads as an organization. We've seen the stop gaps quarterbacks. We've seen the Winces. We've seen the Ryans. We've seen the, uh, we've seen the Rivers. It's post luck, but now this is really where the rubber meets the road because now you spent a top five pick on a quarterback and 10 games into his career, you've benched him. This is a really big moment, I think, for Chris Ballard and how he navigates through this. For Anthony Richardson, if there's any hope to salvage his career, it's going to be not something that we can see as fans. Hey, maybe he's going to get some playing time still, maybe in the red zone inside the five or inside the 10. RPOs, maybe a uh, midfield is too long for a field goal, too short for a punt. You got to go for it. Maybe you can run a read option there, get Richardson in the game. But those aren't going to be the plays where we can see the development in Anthony Richardson. Where the development and personal growth on Anthony Richardson is going to be, is going to have to be in the film room, in the weight room, in the day-to-day -day meetings where we don't see it. And that's going to ultimately decide if Richardson is a Colt next year or not. 
I think him watching Joe Flacco was going to be great because he's going to see not only like Garner Minshew was a veteran, but Joe Flacco is a veteran who's actually won a Super Bowl and who has played at a fairly high level. So to watch that in action week to week as a starting quarterback, that'll help him. Uh, this Sometimes you have to be humbled to grow and, and Richardson's definitely going to be humbled. And, and I hope, again, likable guy seems to be a, a good guy that you could pull for. Just hasn't worked out as a quarterback yet. He's got a lot to learn. He's young. He's got some growing up to do. And I hope that can be with the Colts. But right now, if I were a betting man, if my gut were to tell me anything, 10 games into his career, your GM's on the hot seat, has been on the hot seat, and now more than ever, if our GM goes, I think our quarterback goes. And it would just be another seismic shift in the Colts organization. We've seen it time and time again, post-Manning, especially post-Luck. And now we could be at that crossroads again. And I think a lot of people are talking about what the immediate future is. I'm thinking long-term, what really is going to happen for the Colts? Now what? And I think that now what is, we got to talk about Ballard. We got to talk about Richardson being traded. And, and so a lot of other names and, and positions could be losing jobs because of this move. And, and it's tough to see. I'm curious what you guys think. If you could subscribe to my channel, I want to see some interaction in the comments below. Appreciate you watching and have a great day.